How's it going guys? So I decided to do my last um, end of the year hunting videos kind of as you know, a group of videos together. So from the start of December through December, um, I kind of put them all in one video. So uh, stick around, check it out. Well, I'm sitting here this morning trying to get it done. Um, as you can see, I got some kind of little, some bedding right there. And uh, this little valley down here below me. Um, kind of off to my left over here. Over that way is a scrape and a couple rubs from this year, from this rut. They look pretty good. Um, now I'm saying that's important right now at this time of year, but gonna sit here a little bit longer I hope something happens and if not we'll give it another try another day good morning it's December the 3rd and uh, I'm in another spot hunting um, kind of an edge of a clear cut here and uh, sitting on the ground I am uh, probably gonna do a lot of ground hunting this December maybe a little maybe a little bit more tree stand hunting but uh, trying to get a deer before the end of the year I just haven't had any luck this year um, so this is a spot I checked out earlier this year um, it's actually one of my previous videos um, a lot of deer tracks crossing coming from over kind of that way especially right in here there is a lot of uh, fresh deer tracks plus previous and then I've seen some pretty good sized buck tracks up that way. There's buck tracks here, and they, most of them are coming from this way, or going this way. So I'm hoping to sit here a little while and see if anything crosses through. And if not, I'm probably gonna use on up this two track that way back over there. Cut around into these woods behind me and do like a loop and just still hunting before I get out of here today. And there's one other spot I may check out as well. We'll see how it goes. Decided to start easing up through this clear cut on this two track and uh, I found some older sign where clearly there's been another hunt in here and it looks like he's carted out a deer. But the amount of, I've came from back that way and the amount of fresh deer tracks is insane. Anywhere there's somewhere sandy, this fairly fresh deer tracks uh, there's one that's not too bad uh, that one over there. yeah that's a little deer track um somewhat recent but uh somebody's definitely got one in here at some point probably that that uh he may have got that big old buck we saw if he did he got a trophy but there's just deer tracks anywhere you go in here so i'm easing along glass and very slowly and uh, just kind of taking my time. I don't know what time of day they're using this, but there should be something somewhere in this area. How's it going? It's December 4th, and I'm back on the ground again in a spot that I started bow hunting with. The first time I ever bow hunted, um, I uh, had several encounters. That year when deer never harvested when I had hunted private land with a crossbow before. This is the first place I ever bow hunted for deer. Um, it's a good spot because people can't use guns here and um, where I hunt, there's nowhere to put a tree stand really. You'd have to have a saddle or something like that, which is getting more popular. Um, deer like to pass through this stick stuff here. I'm already seeing some good signs. So. We'll see how it goes. Well, I did a little spot and stalk through an area that uh, I have jumped a lot of deer just walking through hunting and different things like that. And I actually hunted up, back up in there opening day. Um, there's a nice deer rub right there, by the way, and there's another one right here somewhere. Well, check that rub out. That's a nice rub. And um, 
I was just glassing, doing two or three steps at a time, and I don't know if you can see it, but I found a, a doe bedded right here. And I was about 90 yards out, and I got to 70, and um, started trying to move into 60. And apparently there was two more, and they saw me, and they, I saw them. They didn't blow or just haul butt, but they kind of worked their way. They went on down that way. Um, I don't think they knew quite what I was for sure. But, uh, yeah, interesting thoughts for next year. Probably the last time I get to hunt this this year, but something to think about. I don't know if my phone microphone's picking it up, but listen to them coyotes holler. December 7th, no, I'm sorry, December 9th, and I'm back in here where I bumped those does, um, the other day, they're just, like, the beds are, like, right down below me here, just off to the left, and, uh, there was a couple rubs there as well, um, from this year, so, got pretty good visibility, down in here below me, um, the beds are right, right in there, um, Foggy, rainy type morning. Um, so I got decent visibility here above me. Um, coming in here, I could see deer, where deer had come down through here. And just walk through, just in the leaves. I mean, they've been coming there a good bit. From what I can tell, there's just not a singular trail that's too used, except for, I think it was right in here somewhere last time I was here. I could tell that they was coming through there a bit but I'm not noticing it now but uh, I'm hoping to get something this morning put a little bit more deer meat in the freezer we'll see how it goes well it's uh, 8 30 in the morning so far nothing this fog still holding on pretty good back up on my right shoulder I'm hearing some pretty crazy noises sounds like they may be logging back there on the other side there's a main road about a half a mile back behind me here and um, there's like a creek between me and it and some ag fields and um <laughs> it sounds like that may be logging on the other side i'm not sure but so far nothing um sit here a while to see what happens but uh i still feel like there should be something move through here this morning i forgot to mention that back that way this morning on the road I walked in on there was what I believe to be a deer in the road um, there was just one so it could have been a buck um, I'll know when I when I walk back out of here I'll look for tracks but uh, could have been anything but it, it looked all I could see was the eyes it looked at me twice and kind of blinked I was still back a little ways and then it just was just gone I didn't see it run it didn't blow like a deer or nothing the inches or the eyes were a couple inches apart so I believe it was a deer and it looked it looked like it was tall enough to be a deer so maybe a young buck or something or just a doe by herself but we'll see what happens um, that's kind of normal for in here walking that road just to see deer on it going all different directions bedded down usually but uh, just keep hanging out and see what happens Well guys, I don't know what to say. Another promising spot that uh, didn't pay off. Um, I had high hopes for this place here, but looks like I'm gonna wrap it up and climb out of the tree and uh, try again another time. Um, hoping to get another hunt in this, this month before the end of the month. Um, the hunt season closes here for deer. Um, if not, you know, I'm going to draw a big fat zero this year, guys. I have killed no deer this deer season. And that hurts. That's that's hard. I'm going to have to reevaluate some things for next deer season. Um, but, you know, I did help a friend get a deer. Um, and, I, and, you know, that was a big plus. But other than that, I've drawn a zero year guys I, uh, that's all I know to say all right this morning I'm gonna give it another sh uh, 
quick go. There's a spot I found late uh, earlier this year. On top of a ridge, it was tore up, locked up, bedding, a lot of bucks on. I'm gonna try to creep up a little area here and slip up in there to it, just slowly still hunting. Um, I ain't got a lot of time to hunt this morning, so so it's great not a light and then I'm gonna head in. Well, guys, unfortunately, um, I was able to, I kind of crept up to a place on the mountain and waited for enough light to see the walk without a flashlight, set over a pretty heavily used deer trail. Um, and then I still hunted up to the, where this ridge starts ramping up toward the top. And there's a long, flat ridge up top with a lot of deer sign on it. Um, Unfortunately, um, due to obligations, I am out of time for the morning. Um, so, nothing so far. Um, I like this spot. I like the amount of seen a sign I've seen so far. I know I'm not far from a lot, a lot of sign I saw um, earlier this year. Um, so this is going to be a spot I scout more and probably end up with a stand in here next year. But that's all for now. Hopefully I'll get one more in before um, season ends. But we'll just have to wait and see. Well, that's it guys. End of the 2021 deer season. Um, if you're new to my channel or you've been you started subscribing to me and follow me along I'm hoping to produce some real good content here in 2022 um, as far as the deer season this year um, I learned a lot this year and you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose this year didn't go quite like I thought it would but I learned a lot uh, to carry with me into 2022 and hopefully have a, a much better season um, I still had fun but uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll be putting out some fishing content, maybe some camping content and things like that. So, you know, keep up with my channel and um, come along for the journey.